Hi everybody. Let's understand the observability or runtime monitoring tool of Oracle integration. So in this video, I'm going to show how to monitor the runtime integrations. So observability in Oracle integration, which were previously known as monitoring dashboard. Now this has been renamed to observability. What it is? So this is the unified dashboard in the Oracle integration, which actually you use to monitor your runtime integrations, which will help you to know the failure rate, how many instances were failed. Let's suppose you have a hundred integrations out of 110 integrations get failed. So it will show you, show you the failure rate 10%. Percent of successful instances, the number of failed instances, and much more. So one dashboard which you use to track all your runtime instances. You can explore each message activity stream step by step. Now you have one message on your integration. You will you would like to look at what all actions has been executed at what time, at what date, step by step. And if you have enabled the payload, you can also find out the payload. Like if you have enabled debug or development, you can also find out the payloads as well. Just to look at the failures point and dig down the performance issues by looking at the difference of two actions times. You can manage all your errors. You can resubmit the failed messages. You can track the agent status. The agent is active or not and much more. So everything you would like to track, you have to track from this dashboard called observability. So the first screen under observability is called dashboard. So this dashboard will give you the high level view of all your runtime integrations, where you can find out the rate, error rate ratio, the number of active integrations that you have, you have designed the number of success integration and many more. So this is how the integration dashboard looks like where you can find out the runtime data as well as the design time data. So this screen gives you a high level picture and there are various filters available on this dashboard screen as well. This next screen under observability is called integrations. So this integrations dashboard will show you the grouping of integrations and each group will show you how many messages you have received in a particular time window, how many messages has been processed, how many messages has been succeeded, how many has been errored out and how many has been aborted. So it will group all the integrations in the, in the set time window and will show you all those information that will give you a high level view, how many messages you are receiving in a particular time window on your active integrations. The third option, the third screen under observ observability is called agents. So this agents is used to monitor the status of agents, maybe available or unavailable. Available, meaning your agent is available, unavailable, meaning your agent is down. So you can look at all health of your agent across all the agents that you have installed. And then instances. So instances is one of the detailed screen where you can dig out the each message information. Maybe you have received 10, messages okay so you can open each and every message to look at its activity stream you can find out you can find out the primary identifier you have enabled you can filter out your message 
from a particular primary identifier or secondary, you can look at the instance ID, you see the status, you see the duration of each and every message. So by using this duration column, you actually find out how much time a message took to complete. When did you receive the message and when it succeeded or when it is errored out. So everything is visible in a detailed manner. You have various filters options, which you can use to filter out each and every message and track end to end. So all those screens are available out of the box in the integrations. And of course, the most important is error screen. So from the error screens, you can do lot many things. You can see all the messages which has been failed at what location the instance got failed at what time you can expand the error and you can view the complete error trace of your integration instance you have also provision to resubmit your failed instances so few of the instances can be resubmitted and few not and you can track everything from here you can abort the integration errors which you don't want to resubmit in near future you can resubmit instances in bulk in individual. So all options are available using those screens. So guys, that's all about this observability screens that Oracle integration offers. Thank you. Bye-bye.